Hello guys and welcome to my tier list for the mid lane for patch 6.17. Now there hasn't been many changes to the mid lane as this patch, namely Jace and Kennen got a small buff, uh, Ryze got a nerf to his ultimate and that's pretty much it for the mid lane. Most of the champions that got buffed in this patch was top lane so I did do a top lane video so please check that out on my channel as well and without further ado we get into the video. So our number 3 mid laner for this patch is Ziggs. Now the mid lane isn't about getting kills, it's about farming well and getting ahead of your enemy. So Ziggs plays this very well, he's great in team fights, you can always farm safely, you can spam his abilities, his, his cooldown and his Q is very high damage and very low cooldown. If you do a build the scepter on him, it's a great for utility for your team. Uh, he has great AoE, all his abilities are AoE, he has a displacement, also his R got buffed, so his ultimate got buffed uh, a few patches ago which made him very strong and does a high, hell of a lot of damage. Another reason he kind of fell off, he was very Zonya reliant and with not many assassins being played now, the only assassin that really hardcore counters him is probably Zed and Zed is banned pretty much all the time. But if Zed does slip through, I wouldn't uh, necessarily play or pick Ziggs. So as you can see from his team fight, his abilities are very spammable, it's all AoE as well. So, which is great for the long team fights, which we see more and more now in these kind of patches. So that's why he's our number three. And at number two we have Zillion. Now, although Zillion has only one ability that pretty much does damage, he can spam it twice with his cooldowns. His win rate is very high at the moment. It's at 55.6%, which is the full highest in the game. It has been growing up, going up more and more each patch. And the reason is he can clear the wave very well. His ability can be put on anyone, his ultimate. So if the team isn't too smart or they don't know what they're doing you can actually save an ally and they can come back with more health than they started with the only problem is he can be very cooldown reliant he only has one damage ability like I said before and also he is very mana hungry early so a lot of people tend to build, uh, start with teleport and flash and then get a tier and then come back to mid and then you can keep farming and spamming your ability so in my opinion, a champion with free guardian angel is always going to be strong, especially if you can put it on everyone else, and he's always going to be useful. Even if you do bad in lane, Zillion will always be strong. So do pick him, he's very strong at the moment, he has a great win rate just because of his ultimate and his cooldowns. And our number one for this patch is Anivia. Now her win rate is 55.8%, so just slightly above uh, Zillion. She may not be the easiest champion to play, but you always have your passive, your egg ability to save you when you do mess up or, you know, the, an assassin gets the jump on you. So you do always have a get out of jail free card, which most champions don't. And surprisingly, she has a huge amount of damage that a lot of people don't expect. Whereas before she was regarded as a hard pusher, now she seems to be doing a lot of burst damage, especially with the items favoring her a lot. Now another thing that I'm seeing all of the strong mid laners that they all have is AoE. Now Anivia probably has the best AoE out of all the champions on this list. And with that said, she's very strong at the moment. She has been strong for the last two patches. So do pick her up, do play her, and she will be carrying you through solo queue. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.